80 to 100 million dollars will be spent in agriculture and it includes incentives for the farmers from the Farmers Empowerment and Enfranchisement Drive Program, support services to increase production and rebates. We want to state that the cost of water for agriculture in Barbados is now $1.80 per cubic meter or $1.80 for 264 gallons. And that means that if you compare that to the commercial rate of water, which starts at $4.66 and goes as high as 7 66 or somewhere around there, that you can see the water for agriculture still being subsidized. And I think that's a significant point to note. The scourge of monkeys is also being addressed, and the minister said his ministry is listening to the farmers and is looking at other options in the fight. We are working on a special program for monkeys. I've said repeatedly that uh, we have a project going with the Wildlife Reserve. There's a number that uh, people should send a WhatsApp and a location pin. I've been getting feedback from some people who've said they've used the number and haven't had a response. So I've spoken to Mr. Colney, I've spoken to the Chief Agriculture Officer, and we're going to make sure we get that work. In addition to that, we are looking at other options which will be revealed to the public once we are settled on those. The Minister said he's encouraged with the developments he had seen in the sector and it augurs well for the future of agriculture in Barbados. We are pretty much on track. Um, I like the progress that I'm seeing, particularly at Mount Poyer though, because if you were to go up there now and take a look at it, you would see that there's rapid, rapid planting going on over there. You can see all the tanks in place. And I'm particularly pleased to note that once we replicate that right across Barbados, then we should be able to achieve our objectives. A two-tier system will be set up at Haggard St. Andrew. 45 acres of land already planted and a ramping up of the feed program is in the works. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.